as the world becomes more and more unrecognizable and increasingly insane. So too, does the impetus for awakening increase exponentially. This mass awakening will occur, in large part due to the phenomenal power of absolute acceptance. How do we cultivate this willingness to accept the unacceptable? All will be revealed in this video. So, please like, subscribe, and watch on, as we lift the veil. Good morning lights. The new age is upon us. And one of the most powerful tools that you have available to you is the power of absolute acceptance of what is. We go through life always with an imaginary image of what we believe should be happening or what the outcome of any given situation should be. This moves one away from the present moment and into the conceptual realms of memory and imagination. Unconditional and absolute acceptance of what already is, keeps one rooted firmly in the immediacy of the present moment. Rooted in the real. The veil of the changeless is lifted, with the absolute acceptance of what cannot be changed. Acceptance is not merely a passive surrender to circumstances, but an active recognition of the ultimate truth of existence. It is the need to go beyond a purely intellectual understanding of acceptance and directly experience it at the core of one's being. Acceptance is the recognition that the mind's unceasing judgments, preferences and desires are themselves the source of suffering and true liberation arises from resting in the unchanging awareness that transcends these fluctuations. By surrendering the illusion that the mind is in control and resting in the boundless presence of pure awareness, one abides in the state of supreme acceptance where all opposites merge into the seamless fabric of being. One can recognize that the dualistic notions of acceptance and rejection are themselves constructs of the mind, obscuring the indivisible nature of reality. It is the dissolution of the illusory boundaries that appear to separate this from that, the seeker from the sought, the seen from the seer. Through the grace of absolute, unconditional acceptance, one finds peace in the midst of apparent chaos, serenity amidst apparent turmoil, and eternal presence and stillness beyond the fleeting dance of forms. Through self-inquiry and inner contemplation, one comes to abide in the pure awareness that witnesses all phenomena without attachment or aversion. Suffering is an entirely mental state, and it stems from the notion that things should be other than what they are. The remedy, for this suffering, is acceptance. In the absence of identification with the body, mind, or anything, where would resistance or lack of acceptance land? What is there to hold on to it? This pointing, whereby one should endeavor to accept any happening or appearance, is actually more of a concession, because what is, already is, regardless of the mind's position in relation to it. It may be more apt to say, that acceptance, is the dropping of that which is believed to be the acceptor or rejector. The initial step in awakening for many, is to lose the person. To recognize that you are not the person, and that, in fact, this apparent person, never truly existed in the first place. The final step, one could say, is to lose that, which recognized this. But that may be saying too much.
The more unbearable these happenings appear to be, the more momentum for recognition arises. When the unbearable is fully recognized to be bearable, and accepted absolutely, only then can profound transformation arise. Why stand in opposition to what is? You can see the futility, right? That is not to say, that you need to accept what you can change. If things can be changed or improved, then why not do so? The issue arises when one is affected by an appearance, that cannot be changed. That is to say, when one deems, what already is and cannot be changed, to be unacceptable. Perfection contains all imperfection. It simply is. So, what I'm pointing to, here, is the futility of resistance in the face of the ever-changing nature of existence. See that true acceptance arises not from passivity or resignation, but from the deep realization of the interconnectedness of all things, in boundless, timeless awareness. See that to resist, is to cling to the illusion of separateness, perpetuating the cycle of suffering and delusion. Only through unwavering acceptance of what is, can one transcend the play of duality, and abide as the Absolute itself. The root of all bondage lies in the mind's unceasing resistance to the flow of life. By cultivating the awareness, that all experiences arise and dissolve within this boundless awareness, one transcends the changeful, and unveils true liberation from the chains of duality. Through absolute, radical acceptance of the present moment, free from judgment or preference, one realizes the timeless truth, that all phenomena are but fleeting waves on the ocean of awareness. Then you will see acceptance and resistance as two sides of the same illusory coin. I invite you to shift beyond these dualistic notions, and abide in the unchanging awareness that witnesses all fluctuations without being swayed. True freedom is found, not in resisting or accepting selectively, but in embracing the totality of existence with unconditional equanimity and grace. In the light of non-dual understanding, acceptance and resistance dissolve into the silent radiance of pure being, where all distinctions vanish and only ineffable peace remains. So, dear lights, I trust that you see the unimaginable power of absolute acceptance. As the world becomes more challenging, this recognition will be the antidote, the end of suffering. Please like and subscribe, to help us reach more seekers of truth going forward, and please consider supporting this work, if you feel inclined to do so. That's all for now. Much love, and I'll catch you in the next one.